special mention goes to the United States of America for their spontaneous interventions. Design actions for the common ground. The interactive installation impressed the jury with its celebration of the power of individuals to change society in small but effective ways. The unpretentious simple presentation, presentation was a delight. up with the theme, um, actually before we knew of the theme of the General Biennale, before we knew the theme was common ground, but we were very happy that obviously that there's a lot of relationship, a good relationship between the two ideas. And um, I feel like it's an idea that's in the air, that uh, there's a lot of reasons why there uh, seems to be a heightened um, desire for more civic engagement, um, for more participation and um, it might be a result of, in economic downtimes, you have a lot of people more interested in um, basically becoming uh, more, partic more participating more in the processes that are affecting them. In, uh, in really what our, I feel really what our exhibition is about is about asserting our right to the city, which is where, uh, you know, the side of where democracy plays, that, plays itself out. Uh, we have 124 projects and uh, we've, we, we had an open call and as a result of the open call we had about 500 submissions and um, we had to narrow them and you know we, we, we have 124 because that's all that the, the, the 4,000 square feet of the U.S. Pavilion could fit um, and we decided that we wanted to install them as an archive. The, our idea is to create this, this arsenal of tactics that people can um, replicate in other cities if they have similar problems like vacancy or urban blight or disinvestment or um, uneven development and so these are some of the issues that our, our actions address and, um, and there are very many different kinds of uh, approaches that are initiated by architects, designers and everyday citizens um, where they're not waiting for permission or clients or anybody to ask them to bring improvements but people really motivated by passion and by uh, a desire to, to improve their blocks, their, their, their streets, their neighborhoods and, um, and to improve our, you know, the literal common ground, the, the places we share, the public space. And, um, and I think you see, you see so many expressions of it in our pavilion and on our website too, we're collecting them and making this archive available and the, the intention with the website is that with this archive will continue to grow and we'll continue to collect actions, not just in the United States, but everywhere in the world. Of course, there's a zeitgeist, you know, and there's a response um, and a feeling that's responding to what's going on in the world. Um, we, we do say that, I think in this period, um, the, the financial crisis, obviously, it left a lot of people um, architecture firms um, with, with having to scale back and, and um, there aren't any really you couldn't say that there's any big formal movements happening and even there's a kind of a version to talking about architecture in a formal sense anymore and this has probably been happening for a little while where you, people are more interested in talking about architecture in a particular context and how it's responding to place and space and people and place making I think for some time now people have felt more and more estranged from the processes of, of um, planning and, and design and architecture. It's very, the, the, the field has gotten so big and projects are so huge, you know, we have the, the, the mega project from the last decades and um, now with scaling down and scaling back, maybe there's, feels like there's more openings for how smaller acts can, and, and people can actually intervene and, um, and, and, you know, kind of get involved.